All right, guys, welcome to the video today. Um, we're going to build a project from frontendmentor.io. And it is a, it's, it's a landing page that looks uh, simple, but it's got a couple little challenging things about it. It's this one right here. It's called the Work It landing page. Um, it's available, again, on frontendmentor.io. Uh, this website, basically, it has a, a bunch of different challenges that you can do if you're practicing, if you want to, like, practice your skills as a front-end web developer. There is even some projects here that you can do that are, you, know, you can make them into, like, full-stack projects if you want to use, uh, like, PHP or Java or something on the back end to practice that. But... Uh, yeah, this is uh, this video is not sponsored by frontendmentor.io, but I'm just letting you know that you can go here to sharpen your skills and kind of get away from watching endless tutorials without building stuff on your own. Um, you're, the only way you're ever going to learn HTML and CSS and JavaScript really, really well is if you just put down the the hand-holding tutorials and do them. Now, you can use tutorials to figure out how to do certain things, and then keep those little code snippets in your GitHub. I, that's what I did when I was first learning how to code, and that was super helpful. But you shouldn't just exclusively be watching tutorials. But um, having said that, you can watch me build this page here, and it'll teach you a few things about how to uh, position elements on top of other elements and have them go in two different sections. We'll learn how to do uh, background images like this that make the page look cool. And then I'll show you how to make these little curves that can be a big pain in the butt if you don't know how to do them. But I'll show you how to do those. So this is the desktop design. Just a simple landing page. It's got three sections. It's got a header, a middle area, and a, uh, I guess like a footer area. We'll just probably make this the footer and this will be a separate section. So three sections and a footer. Um, looks simple. There's some, like I said, there's some difficulty to this. Uh, and then we'll have the, we've got the tablet design that we're going to do. This is what it looks like on tablet. And then we've got the mobile design, what it looks like on smartphones. So we'll be making this mobile as we go. Um, this will be like a playlist, and each se uh, section will get its, get its own video. Well, we'll make the section and then make it responsive right away. I like to make my stuff responsive as I go one section at a time instead of doing all of the desktop and then having to do all the responsive after that. I don't like working that way. But uh, what I did here is I downloaded this challenge and I actually downloaded the Figma file, which you can do if you're a premium member on Frontend Mentor. It's like $12 a month or something like that. You can get, they'll give you uh, files that you can download. And I downloaded the Figma one. I think you can do Figma and Sketch. So Figma, if you don't know what Figma is, it's like Photoshop, but just for web development, pretty much. Um, it's pretty much taking over as the industry standard. So you'll download, you download the uh, Figma on your computer. It's called Figma. You can go out to like figma.com and get it. And then download the desktop app. I have a Mac, so I downloaded it for Mac. And then drag your file in here and it'll have all of the you'll have a file for the colors the typography um hover states everything so and then you can just scroll over and we got the desktop and then you can click in here on figma like other design things and like see what colors are and actually get the styling and the font sizing and stuff like that. So it's really cool. This mimics what you'd be doing as like a professional front end developer, at like in maybe like a smaller agency or something where you have a team of designers, they email you a design and the images and say, go ahead and build it. Um, this is the active state for like hover buttons and stuff for the desktop. And then scrolling over further, we have the tablet and the mobile. So We'll go ahead and uh, get started in the next video building the header section. And uh, then we'll make it responsive. So, yeah, it'll be fun. Let's get started.